hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be a tag video and these are five crazy questions that my girl tara michelle opinionated sense created and tagged me and a bunch of other lovely perfume reviewers i also got tagged by amy glam so i'll have both their channels linked down below i feel like this video is going to be very quick because tara definitely paints a picture she had me rolling with the way she talked through some of this so let's go ahead and get into the tag okay so question number one you lived 125 beautiful years and you've passed on now if i'm living to be 125 <laughs> i know a lot of people are not left but we're gonna say that my husband's unfortunately around so I'm, I'm leaving him instructions with a perfume that i want him to put on me to make sure i wear as of now i don't really have a signature scent but i did pick a perfume that could probably easily be associated with me just because it was a signature scent I would say in my early 30s and it's something that I know he'll recognize and other family members would recognize and that is Narciso Rodriguez for her the eau de toilette not to be confused with the eau de parfum and this was my wedding day scent and it was a scent that I wore a lot along with another scent that's in this collection that I would wear interchangeably as a signature set. Like I wore this after my wedding for a whole year. It's definitely a scent that people in my family could associate with me. It is a scent that if you guys have watched my husband rates popular perfumes, he actually gave this a low score, but it is something that smells different on paper. I've worn this perfume since that video, and he says it smells good on me. It's not his favorite perfume, but he does enjoy it still. There are just other newer perfumes that have come into my collection that he enjoys more. But because this was my wedding scent, it's a scent that has a lot of good memories attached to it. You know, again, other family members would remember, this is the scent I chose. It's also something that I think would be appropriate. It's just a pretty musky kind of floral scent. So again, that's Narciso Rodriguez for her, the eau de toilette. The scenario in here is similar to that of Quiet Place, which I don't know if you've ever watched Quiet Place, but basically it's where there's an alien invasion and they are hypersensitive to sound. So the whole theme of the movie is you have to be quiet, it's a quiet place. So in this scenario, we're faced with an alien invasion, but they're hypersensitive to smell. So what is the one perfume in your collection that you would use to save Earth? You're gonna save the Earth from these aliens because it's a scent that you know is so polarizing and you know they're not gonna like it. What is the scent that you would pick? And I'm laughing because now when I think of the scent, I think of my girl Rebecca, one of my lovely, lovely subscribers. But that is Angel by Mugla. And this scent is definitely polarizing. While I have other scents in my collection that are polarizing like Oud Bouquet and Black Orchid. I would say that this one is probably more disliked. Well, no, I have, I have a bunch. I have, a, I can name like five. But I would say this one's polarizing. Like not only do people dislike this scent, people despise this scent. There are people who say that they get sick from this scent. Now, it is one that I do enjoy for nostalgic reasons, but also I actually enjoy the scent of this. This is definitely something that when I wear it, it's in the cold and it's something that when I'm gonna go out. The other day I had Dennis smell it just because I know how polarizing it is and I wanted to know what his thoughts were and he actually liked it. He said, oh, that smells going outy. Dennis, likes to add e at the end to say something is like like colony so i was like okay i'm like i wanted to know your thoughts because this is a very like disliked perfume in the in the perfume community I and mean, i think he liked it even more he's like me when something is when people are against something so much 
but I already like it and then I know that so many other people just despise it. A little spitefulness out of me kind of likes it even more. Like I would want to be in a room filled of those non-angel lovers and walk in wearing this just to annoy them. But anyways, this is the scent I would wear. So she also said if you have a scent that you don't have in your collection, but this to me would be number one. This is the number one scent. So I'm gonna reserve my second for something else. Number three, if you were an astronaut chosen to go to another planet, now this is where I'm gonna have two perfumes. What is the one perfume that you could pick? And I keep going back and forth, so I'm gonna show you the runner up first and then I'll show you the winner. So the runner up is Delina. This has quickly become a favorite of mine in my collection. It's something that I know I could wear year round. It's something that I don't think I would get tired of. And it's something that I've already started making memories with. This is a perfume that I've already worn to several events, like nice dress up kind of events. And again, it's one of my favorites. This is my runner up. Now, the reason why this one beat out Delina, even though Delina's, again, more of a favorite, is because I know I won't get tired of this scent because I have been using this perfume since 2011. And like my Narciso Rodriguez, I've been using this perfume for the last de decade on and off. It's always been in my collection. I have never not been without this perfume since that time. And that is Aqua de Joya by Giorgio Armani. And like my Narciso, this is probably my third bottle of this perfume. This is aquatic, it's minty, it's fresh, but it's something that I can wear year round. I love fresh scents. It's something I know I won't get tired of because I still continue to wear this even years later. It's something that I have a lot of great memories with. It's also a very recognizable scent. Like this was another one I was going back and forth with for my funeral scent because I know a lot of people associate this perfume with me as well. It's also one of my top complimented perfumes. So this is the perfume that I know, like I'm okay with wearing this one. I know I'm not gonna get tired of it. I'm gonna also have beautiful memories associated with, with it. And it's just gonna remind me of home. So this is my number one, but Delina was my runner up. Okay, so this is a time capsule that we are putting into the earth. And Tara, what did she say? Whatever is raining on the earth 200 years from now, they're digging it up. And it's a perfume that you want to put in. And when they open it, it's going to be preserved. So it's going to smell good. Even though I think this is one of those perfumes that gets better with time. But it's a preserved scent. So 200 years from now, they're going to smell it. And I went more the funny route with this one. I was like, I want a popular perfume. That's another polarizing scent. It is popular to hate on because I want the people 200 years from now to be like, this is what they wore. And yes, because on top of this perfume being popular to be hated on in the perfume community, it is also a popular scent. It is a number one selling perfume and it's still being sold to this day. And that is Lancome's La Vie Belle. I like the scent, but I know that it's one like Angel. It's polarizing. There's just people love to hate this scent. <laughs> and the little spiteful side of me would definitely pop this in, the, in a time capsule and bury it and let you guys sniff it 200 years from now. Even though it's disliked, again, it's still a number one seller. It's still a perfume that people like and enjoy. It isn't one I smell very often in Orlando. The next perfume I'm gonna mention is one that I smell more often than this one. I've smelled this one on occasion, more so around the holidays, but yeah, this is the one I would definitely pop in a time capsule. Okay, then the last question. So we're entering a contest, and I think Tara said we're all blindfolded, so I thought I would have a little fun. I didn't see that Amy or Tara did this, but I picked a cologne that I would have to be able to pick out on Dennis and a perfume he would have to pick out on me. So we're gonna have a little fun, we're gonna change it up. It's gonna be me and three other ladies and then Dennis and three other men. And I have to be able to pick out his scent and he's gotta be able to pick out my scent. And the prize is 100 million tax-free dollars. 
what's the fragrance that's going to secure the winnings secure the rest of your life i knew both immediately dennis will have to wear liz claiborne sport by men now this is a scent as old as time <laughs> this scent has been around like i pick up this scent for dennis on amazon for 15 bucks every christmas along with other christmas gifts either i do it or my mom does it like every year and he goes through a bottle every year in addition to his other colognes dennis is an oversprayer but that is his scent he's been wearing that scent since we started dating in 2004 that he wears up until this day i know that if he has that on we're gonna win now the scent that i know dennis will pick up on me not Narcisa Rodriguez for her. It's not Aqua de Joya. I picked the scent that every time I wear it, he asks, are you wearing that perfume? This is another runner up. Delina's another runner up. This is a perfume that he always says, are you wearing that perfume? And I know what perfume he's talking about, but this one he actually says by, by name. He can tell when I'm wearing this perfume or any of its flankers. And if you guys know, cause I, I've mentioned it before, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll wait, but that is Alien by Mugler. This is the limited edition We Are All Aliens bottle. I, I know people always ask me, someone in every video always asks me, is that a different alien or that's not the original? This isn't the old formulation. This is definitely the newer formulation. I never got to experience the old, old alien. Unless someone sent me a decan, honestly, I probably never will. I do enjoy the new formulation. It is a beast perfume. I can only imagine what the old ones smell like, but this is Alien in the limited edition We Are All Aliens bottle. And even though this perfume is newer to my collection, I've only owned Alien for a couple years now. It's one that every time I put this on or one of its flankers, he asks if I'm wearing that Alien perfume. So this is what's going to secure our future. So those are my five, well, Tara's five crazy questions and my answers. If you haven't done this tag already, please do. It was fun watching. And let me know in the comments below, what are some of your perfumes that you would wear to this scenario? Or what are your thoughts on my picks? But let's keep it classy in the comments, guys. <laughs> but that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.